I like this. Can you bring more of your mom's ashes in the room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spit your mom's ashes in my mouth while we're having sex. <laughs> You're getting hot. Are we, on, are we on right now? We're on right now. Dude. No, we're not on until I say this. What, oh, what episode is it? Uh, 85, I think. Okay. Is it? I think so. I think it might be 86. Okay, it's 85 yeah. probably. Yeah, you guys are prepared. <laughs> Dude, we don't you, wait till you, well, you wait till you hear the questions we don't have. <laughs> you guys are, you know. Yeah, 85. Okay. okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to 85 of Dropouts. Um, this week, we, we asked for David Dobrik, but... But you um, guys got me. I knew, I knew, I was a last minute. We we got the wrong David. Say say your name and and where you're from. Because he, he doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Dobrik, right? Yeah, no, it's definitely not. I wish. No, how's it going, guys? I'm David Alvarez, aka David Alvarez. I'm from Bellflower, California. Thirty years old. I'm old. Oh, um, the big three. I do want to genuinely say that um, you were the first person we asked. That's how terrible we are at this podcast. <laughs> um, you were asked six minutes ago. You got here in four. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Strikes me a little bit that you didn't have anything going on today. Yeah, I, I was literally making love to my girlfriend, and I was like, "Babe, I just got the text." <laughs> Babe, and she was like, "From ja from Zach," and I was like, "You know it." You know. You're like, "I have time to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be there in six minutes, so we're good to go." <laughs> That's good that you're making love consistently consistently i do yeah i've been worried about that for you i do every friday and sunday it's like clockwork actually that's nice you know two times a week four or eight what is that eight times a month and that that's good for your heart it reduces heart disease yeah yeah i uh, i don't see my girl from monday through friday oh and then my brother now lives with me so this is kind of a funny story i every friday when we have sex I <laughs> oh that was real you actually have sex yeah. oh like clockwork. She, okay. she comes over on friday night and then we end up like having sex i come so fast on friday night <laughs> And she always, she knows. She's like, she'll be like, did you, did you jack off before I got here? And I'm like, nope. And she's like, Ugh. damn and, it. <laughs> and I'm not a guy, like once I'm done, bro, I can't. Oh, you can't again. rally. I'm not, I'm not one of those guys. I'm old, bro. I'm 30. Yeah. She needs to understand that. She's being yeah. disrespectful. No, she gets it. She's like, it's okay, baby. Well, you, you'll get him next time. <laughs> but no, that makes her look forward to Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's Saturday, depending on what we do. Cause was, sometimes we go out and you could eat like a big meal. You're like, babe, we got to. As long as I don't eat cheese. Oh, you're, you're good. lactose intolerant? Yeah, she calls <laughs> <laughs> she calls it cheese dick, bro. If I, <laughs> she goes, she goes, you better stop having pizza or else you're gonna get cheese dick, meaning like I can't get it hard because my tummy hurts. <laughs> 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 this is serious, I swear. I've I'm never 100%. heard that before. She says it in front of my friends, too, and I'm like, babe. Hey. You know, cheese dick sounds like I have cheese around my <laughs> dick or something. Yeah, because yeah. cheese balls is a completely separate thing. Under Wait, cheese. What's cheese balls? Under cheese is, is when you've like worked out for a long time and sweat, and then you've just got, you've got things growing under your nuts, and you got to clean. You gotta clean uh, I up. like that smell. I know you don't. Yeah. Like, huh? I, the first time I noticed you, I was like, that guy likes that smell. <sighs> it's good. Come on. You don't, you don't, you don't like scratch your balls and go... Do the old scratch and sniff? Scratch and sniff. Oh, Jared looks like he lives off that. No. I think it's disgusting if you scratch your balls and then you go, like, how badly do your own balls smell that you could? You got, you got to enjoy it. It's enjoy like your it. own farts. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what I was going to say. You got to enjoy the smell of your own farts. Yeah. Um. So basically, <laughs> you. <All> right, so, <laughs> okay, hear, hear me out. You've been on YouTube for how long now? Uh. Probably like around 2013, 2014. Was that your first social media outlet? Yeah, because I was really against um, Instagram. Why? Oh, you hate pictures? Um, like, These have to be moving. <laughs> no, my ex, like my high school sweetheart was like, she went to college like in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So then like that's kind of like the era when Instagram came out and Twitter. Okay. And she was like, didn't trust me. And she kind of like bashed it right away. So I was like. I was like, yeah, stupid, dude. I'm you just got it last week. <laughs> so I was like, no, I'm not going to do that, babe. And then and then my little brothers actually were David Alvarez. Or like, they were like Max Alvarez and Carlos Alvarez. So that's the reason why I'm Alvarez, because I was like, make me one. Oh. Yeah. So, so you, wait, so you made it in secret, like to hide it from No, her? once <laughs> No, once we broke up. Why'd you break oh, okay. up? Get into it, please. Um, and do you, just, miss, you don't miss her, right? No. No, not at all. <laughs> No, I'm happy. Let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. Oh, oh, shit. I think she lives around here. Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> she's behind the door. <laughs> so you guys broke up. That was probably the hardest thing you've ever dealt with in your life? No. Okay. My Let's college sweetheart was pretty bad, but actually my recent one with my now girlfriend, 
That breakup was tough. Oh, you went through a breakup with your current girlfriend? Yeah, and then we got back together. Oh god, are you, are you allowed to see what happened there? Or does she want to keep it under wraps? No, it was pretty, no, like we, uh, dude, I just have commitment issues, man. Oh, why you do know, you think that is? I feel that. I feel I have the same. Yeah, my dad. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, you guys have something in common. Went, yeah, Where was he therapy. at? <laughs> he uh, left us for a while because he was a drug addict. So, so. Ah, mine's not as cool. Oh, <laughs> military <laughs> drug addict. He was. Providing over here, yeah. What asshole. drugs? It sounds like heroin. Uh, we never really got into it. Yeah, you should it text him. So, something like that. No, he came back. Oh, nice. He's, he's one of my. Let's bring him in. One of my best. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> just have his whole like background of friends and family yeah, out like, there. Shit. If if you had a uh, oh wait sorry you're getting into the the breakup oh commitment issues where yeah. do you think that stems from? It's from your dad. And then what? How does that translate to you and your relationships? Because my dad was a cheater, right? Mm. And I think at a young age, I remember like my mom was crying and I was like, dad, why'd you cheat on mom? I think I was like eight or nine or something. And Damn. he just looked at me as like super Mexican machista. And he was just like, you know, you, you don't get it right now. You're not a man. Like, you know, we have this thing and <laughs> sometimes we make mistakes. And then I remember going up to my mom and I was like, that seems right. You don't get it. You don't have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> and like my mom looked at me, she was crying. She was like, you brainwashed you. No, I couldn't imagine how heartbreaking that was for your mom. You're like, well, at least I have this beautiful son that will never do that to me. And, yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, I'll do it to <laughs> other people, mom. <laughs> I'll carry on the legacy. So how did you guys get back together? Who initiated the the rebound from the same girl? How long were you split apart? Three weeks. Okay. I came back crawling quick, dude. Oh. I was like, I don't think I can do this. And then I cried a lot. And then she was like, all right. And then I was like, I'm just kidding. I miss you. So have you, do you, have you come to a place where you're fine with the commitment now? Or like, are you a more healthy place with it? Yeah. I still obviously sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I should, you know, spread my oats. <laughs> but no, for, for the most part, you know, I think being in a relationship is a choice. There's always going to be other options. You know, the ability to be single, hang out with the boys, mm -hmm. go to like boys trips and which you could still do. I'm, I still do all the time. It sounds like you have a lot of free time with this from Monday through Friday. Yeah, but I just kind of stay at home in it. Oh. Edit those uh, Jubilee videos. Uh, <laughs> are, do, you, um, do you have a hard time balancing relationship and work? Or I used to a lot, but I think now I just realized like, no one cares if you go to the party. You no, know? yeah, I, I nothing. Oh, that's an interesting. I've never cared about any LA party. I've always Sentiment. wanted to kill myself at every single one. <laughs> um, but like you any, enjoy them, it sounds like. I do enjoy them, but like, I think I used to have this thing where I was like, if my friends invited me to stuff, they'd be like, yo, do boys night and stuff like that. And I would kind of be like, oh, babe, to like, well, not my current one, but like my ex, I'd be like, oh, I, I got to go hang out. Like, they want me there. They you know, need but me. They need me. I'm the funny one. I'm the guy that drinks while I'm there. Like, no yeah, one else does that. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I would kind of put my friends before my ex a lot. But then I kind of just realized they don't give a shit. They still love me at the end of the day, you know? They still know that I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You should do... So your videos have been taking off recently. I want... This is what I want. I want you to get all your exes and put them into one of those formats. Oh. Just whole. ask them... If they have the same opinions about you. Dude, that would be uh, traumatizing for me. <laughs> <laughs> all my exes. Do all my exes think the same? Oh, that's perfect right there. And then you do that like disagree, agree, yeah. whatever thing. And then you just ask them, it's like, was David a good boyfriend? <laughs> and yeah. then they all just go to strongly disagree. I think they would all say yeah to that 100%. Oh, really? You were yeah. a good boyfriend? 100% was a good boyfriend. Because they know, because every breakup, it wasn't like a bad breakup. You're well, just like a couple. You're just like I'm not committed to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I've made some mistakes, but no, I think it would be like, does David have a big penis? And then all of them like would disagree. Of <laughs> <laughs> Was David good in bed? Only the current one would say yes. <laughs> She's like, depends if it's Sunday or Friday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Somewhat agree. Somewhat agree. She's yeah, like, why are you yeah. over there? You guys have not experienced Sundays. <laughs> you're right. We haven't. Yeah, so so you've been on YouTube um, for a while, but it feels like what is the past year or two years that it's really starting to kind of really take off. Honestly, maybe just like this last year. I just I, never every time you consistent. post on your story, it's like trending, trending, trending. I just think they don't know whose YouTube channel it is. <laughs> they think it's like Jubilee or something, and they're like, "Oh, dude, these guys are good guys." Or the cut, and they're just like, "Ah, Cody Co will do a video on this later." <laughs> yeah, that'll be the meta one, like uh, when uh, Cody Co like you know reacts to one of mine's. Oh, that would be crazy. Well, be nuts. I think you have the perfect, <laughs> but, uh, perfect format, though, because the people that you like or everyone likes your friend group, but everyone likes that format. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. then, so it's like, you know, it's going to be entertaining because you have the people to be entertaining. Sometimes like the other videos, you never know who you're going to get and you have to learn to love the people. Yeah. I think, you know, I think what I love about Jubilee and Cut is like th theirs is like really like they take themselves seriously in the sense like when they do those like, you know, uh, the spectrum videos, they're like asking stuff like are abortions okay and stuff and, like I'm not, you know, my stuff is like a little bit more lighthearted trying to be funny like our penises <laughs> size does size matter versus stuff like that. Does it, Jared? Uh, listen, I've been told it's all about the motion of the ocean. <laughs> well, that's, that's what for you, a reason. told you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, mine is just with my friend group. So sometimes people like, also people don't understand that my friend group is kind of diverse. Like I'm Latino, like, you know, Chelsea, Neza, Franny, you know, they're just like, oh, a bunch of white people. But it's just because we look white, guys. <laughs> I swear we're diverse. But it's just, uh, yeah, my videos are just my friends. And I don't want to do them with people other than my friends or people that I know that, you know, I could, you know, a part of these is like producing a good group. So, like, I'd be like, oh, Zach, Jared, you're, like, really good for this group of people mm -hmm. versus, you know, I wouldn't put you with some random people that I'd be like, nah. I don't think it'd be good. Have you had, have you put a group of people together semi recently where you're like, oh, that didn't work, and like had to scrap a video? No, I've never scrapped a video because I don't have the money <laughs> to do that. Like I'd have to put out the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was funny because yeah. I've I've watched you and your friend group for years because my ex girlfriend, the one that was obsessed with Keenan JC, mm -hmm. like she watched all of your videos all the time, and she'd be like, "Come watch this with me." And I always noticed you were kind of you always helped. In, in the background, editing, filming. So were you producing over everybody or what was kind of like your role back then? I don't know. I've, I, I'm like an obliger. So that's my trade. Like I get a lot of um, like self uh, satisfaction or like, you know, I just feel really proud when I help a friend out and their video does well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I started with like writing for people and then filming for them too. So I would film for like Super Ego, Josh Leva, Jared Munoz, and I would write their stuff. So I was like their writers and, you know, not all of them, not for every sketch either, but for the big ones for sure. <laughs> no, I always um, noticed. Just, I always noticed you in the background. I was like, I, when's he just gonna take this to his own channel? I feel like in the last year, you've really, you've really yeah. made sure you're like. I definitely didn't do the Kanye route where he would give everyone else their B stuff. Mm. I definitely gave everyone my A stuff. Yeah, and then for my stuff, I'd be like, fuck it, dude. I just gotta figure this out right now. But yeah, I mean, I always loved filming for people. You know, uh, creating stuff for them because when they were happy, I would. I was, like, super excited. They would be like, bro, this video's doing well. And I'm like, yeah. But um, I still do that. I mean, like, I'm, like, in the K&J team. Mm -hmm. I'm directing their next show, hopefully, if they don't fire me. <laughs> no, that's what they, they were talking about. Because it was it's kind of you and Ryan are there, like, A1, day one, whatever, work on everything with them. Yeah. Um, and then they talked about how they filmed the last uh, season. And then you're going to film uh, the newest season. And they're going to. But the last season, they, they were talking about they filmed it in, like, the middle of summer, and it was hell. Yeah, dude. It was, like, 114 degrees. Jeez. Oh, my it God. Was, <clears throat> dude, so bad. Like, I felt bad for the camera guys and stuff because they were out there with, like, I remember when they were setting up just trying to get the shots. We're talking about Reality House in case anybody yeah, doesn't Yeah, Reality know. House. Go check it out. They had umbrellas for them, too. Like, you know, this hat umbrellas. Oh, really? <laughs> but I remember walking out. Uh, they were just setting up five minutes in. And I walked in, and I was like, how's the shot looking? And the guy was like, <laughs> he had a towel, and he was already sweating. And I was like, oh, shit. And they just did that all day. Does that give hours. you more fulfillment, the bigger projects? Or do you still feel the same way, like when your YouTube does really well? or Because are you just trying the, to... No, just the bigger projects, yeah. Like a K&J shoot, like being like just seeing my title as an assistant director is like, gives me more gratitude than like seeing my video trend. Really? A little bit, yeah. So is that something, like, is that the route that you kind of want to go, like, as you further in your career where you want to stay more, like, behind the scenes and work on, like, bigger and bigger shoots and stuff like that rather than sticking with the YouTube? Yeah, I think I want to do more producing mm -hmm. and directing as well. But I think I think if I can create a good team around me where, like, I find, like, I mean, I don't want to have this final say and stuff, but I definitely want to have a creative team. Like, me and Ryan and K&J, both, like, we have Discord calls for, like, hours and, you know, everyone has their different opinions, but after a few hours, you kind of really figure out like, this is the best way to do it. I kind of like that excites me working with people that I love. And I'm like, dude, this is going to be fucking great. How'd you guys all come to know each other? Um, I think I met Keen and JC and Ryan, like just at one of their parties. 
And then we kind of connected. We're like, hey, you're the OGs. I'm a G. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a current G. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago was that? Dude, years ago. I mean, I don't know. Maybe like 2015 or 2016, something like that. Oh, wow. Like a hot minute. They were always just super good guys. You kind of mean like in the area or like, you know, our space, people mostly suck. Uh, yeah. We can rattle off a few names. Jared, go ahead. Uh, What's your like most like, I guess using a cool term now, an ick moment where you met an influencer and you're like, oh. Oh, dude. Fucking <laughs> ew. Wait, no, you could tell the story without telling me. <laughs> yeah. I guess you could tell the name. I don't care. But um, no, so Say there the was. Name, dude. Uh, Just leave it out. Tell me at least. There, so it was. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, it was when they were in their old house. Um, they're, they're setting up a home gym, right? And they got this big wall of mirrors and they're putting in lighting. to like top down lighting. To make and themselves look hotter. Exactly. Yeah. And so they finished setting up the lighting. And he calls me in by name. He's just like, hey, Jared, come look at this, right? And I'm mm -hmm. thinking, I have no idea what he's going to show me. So he walks in. He's like, look at this lighting. I was like, oh, that's sick. And then I turn around. He's like, look how it makes my abs look. And oh, like lifts shit. up his shirt. <laughs> but it's completely serious. It's completely serious. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, just like checking himself out. And he's yeah, like, yeah. he's like, dude, I'm, I'm looking ripped. And I was like, sick man <laughs> like can i go back <laughs> to where everybody else is yeah yeah, yeah. that's mine, hilarious mine was i had uh there was this influencer and What's i the name dude just bleep it out oh <laughs> <laughs> she annoys me so much but when i first moved out here i had like a beat up 04 toyota solera mm -hmm. and i drove her to go get food but uh on the way back she's like yeah i'm not driving that thing again that was that's Oh it's shit, like, not even your car? Yeah, you know, like she's like, it's just so old and like gross. So <laughs> yeah. I was like, it was clean on the inside. She's just like, yeah. ugh, like, ugh, I can't believe you drive this. I was like, I, yeah. That's your side of the story. Like, it was probably really dirty inside. It's well, like he, shit. He did have a, a, a stick like lodged in his back wheel chassis. That That's would, outside like, the car, though. <laughs> I ran over someone. I didn't know how to get it out. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. But, Is she like super huge? Um, she? Yeah, at the time, yeah. I guess she was. But yeah, we've had, we've had a few ick moments like that where. It's yeah. just a lot. Any any TikTok party because Indy used to just be all in all that stuff and and take us places, and I wanted to jump off any balcony, any high rise in Hollywood <laughs> Hills I could. Yeah, well, those just kind of suck sometimes, especially out here. Yeah, it's still well, finding just, the good people. Yeah, I, I think um, it's the flash like, and they're all just flashes and pans. If they don't like further career, a lot of them are like, I could probably do this for life, and then we'll be good to go. And it's like, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> That's why I like I like that we're starting to like get to know like a lot of like the OGs like yourself and Kean and JC and stuff like that because you guys actually I don't bring something to the table, table like as people yeah. you know like you have uh, sub sustenance substance substance you'll get there we're, we're not, not helping yeah. you we're not helping you get there <laughs> just use, I don't say, know. say depth this is depth. Like, yeah. there we go I yeah say you guys that for you guys too many syllables man <laughs> yeah. You guys have depth as people. And I was going to try to help you, but I was like, I'm going to fuck that up. <laughs> He's like, um, substitution maybe? Like depth, yeah. I did that the the other, uh, not the other day, but like a couple months ago or whatever. The first time that we met uh, Zane and Heath, I was like, I was like, oh, we can all be accountability buddies. But first of all, I don't know why he said that. He was so nervous. We were, we were talking about setting up like a group of like, like a think tank. Yeah. Oh, to, yeah. uh, like come up with content for people and stuff like that. And I still want to do that. Yeah, no, it's, it's a great idea. I'll be down and go. And, Let's do it. And I was just like, yeah, we can all be accountability, but what account, account, even when you got, <laughs> even when you got it out, it wasn't cool. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> we could all be like account accountability buddies. <laughs> and I just look at Jared. I was like, is that what you wanted to say? He said, mm -mm. <laughs> uh, 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 it just sounds like influencers are like, yo, should I post this or am I going to get canceled? <laughs> That's exactly what it is now. <laughs> yeah. What's your biggest great. ick moment? I think one that comes to mind uh, was okay. I don't know if we should leave her name in, but <laughs> I was at a K and J party, yeah, and we'll bleep it out just in case. Yeah, yeah, just in case. Who cares? Maybe I've honestly said it. I don't know. They were throwing a party, and she was there, and you know, I hadn't met her yet. And the guy that she brought was this guy who like smoked me out during like the beginning of the party. So I brought my high school friend, aka normal dude. Right? <laughs> um, who's just kind of there to just drink and kind of, you know, get high. And he was talking to the guy a lot. It's because he's like, they were both super potheads. Okay. So I'm take, like, I was like, all right, uh, Manny, let's take off. And he was like, oh, I'm going to go see about that dude. He fucking smoked us out. And I was like, all right. And then he, they're saying goodbye and she's just standing next to him. And then I say goodbye to the guy. I was like, oh, thanks for smoking me out. 
And then he was like, yeah, David, I'll see you soon. I was like, yeah, we'll catch up. And then I looked at it. I was like, oh, by the way, like, hey, big fan. Um, nice to meet you. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, oh, are you a big fan? Are you? <laughs> and oh, I was my like, God. I was like, yeah, I've seen your stuff. And I was just kind of like thrown off. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. And she was just like, name one video. And I was like, I don't know. What? And at that time, it was like maybe 2016, 2015. I was like, I don't know, the Chubby Bunny Challenge? You've probably done that. And, then, <laughs> and she was like, yeah, what else? And I was like... You said name one. Yeah. What do you mean, what and else? I was like, I just saw your Vine today. And it was when Vine was out. And I was like, and it was actually a funny Vine, too. It wasn't just like a, you know, one of those things. <laughs> I was like, that Vine was pretty funny. And she was like, oh, Vine, so stupid. I got like two million followers in like two days. She was like, ah, oh, lame. Anyways, so who do you know here? And I was like, oh, blah, 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 Kane J. And she was like, hmm. Okay. Is that just how she's as a human being? Is that how she Uh, operates? Apparently. Sometimes. Sometimes she's really sweet, and then you just never know where you're going to go with her, honestly. I've had, like, David, I love you. And then I have other moments where, like, I don't really like you. You know that? And I'm like, what did I do? (laughs) Cut her out because I want to say this. We matched on Tinder once. Are you serious? (laughs) This was, like, when I first moved here. And, and, like, I didn't know her. I just thought she was a pretty girl and we talked a little bit and then didn't really go anywhere and then we were at like playlist or something that no we were i was at tanacon <laughs> you went to tanacon i worked tanacon you worked tanacon i, I laid the rails at tanacon <laughs> um, that's why it was a disaster oh it was the <laughs> yeah. worst experience ever we were both in the elevator together and it was kind of just us and we both knew that we had matched like a long time ago nice. and, and then we were just both like you Look familiar. <laughs> have you, how's this? No, it's yours be- just you have a you, uh, she has a lanyard that says like featured guest, and then yours <laughs> yeah, is just, just like, like janitor crew. <laughs> Dude, Tanacon was staff. Ugh. I never got paid from that. Tana, if you're watching, you owe me money. Um, I worked like two or three days there. You never um, got paid? No, of course not. That sucks. Yeah, it sucks. And that was just manual labor the entire time. I was just like those giant guardrails that all the little girls pushed over. I, <laughs> I laid it, I laid them out for, it felt like a mile probably of, of uh, lanes. And yeah. Have you ever like saw it, like seen Tana? I'm like, Hey, you never paid me for that. I don't know. I've never talked to her. She's um, actually really, really funny. I since we did reality house. Mm-hmm. I'll laugh what, when there's money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> she's actually probably, she is so smart. It's like it, brains, my like brains. It blows my mind. How like, how fast and like quick witted and like charming she is. I mean, obviously she's Tana, so she's kind of crazy and stuff. But yeah, that's her. Overall, uh, super funny, really smart. Speaking of way, Ix really quick. Uh, we were at this party. I thought you were just pointing at him, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. Half, like, Speaking of Ix, Ix dude, this oh, yeah, guy. he is this my. Guy. You are my biggest Ix. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe six months ago, maybe you're a guy. I don't know, but it was just when someone's allegations, like this guy, came out uh, that was canceled and. Like, terrible, terrible allegations. And Jared, um, like, he doesn't know how to have his way out of a conversation. And this guy kind of back, oh my he God. backed him in a corner and there, he's just talking to him. Shit. And you're just like, oh, yeah, like, cool. And we're all just looking at him, like, what are you doing? He's like, I don't. And Jared, dude, we're the same. I wouldn't not have Dude, Jared I'm has so the worst. socially awkward. Yeah. I'm just too nice. I can't be like, bro, you. No, that's. that's you murder sorry. six people. That's exactly Come on. it. And I was trying anything. He was like, he was like, cool. So, like, what do you do? I was like, Oh, I, I make music. He's like, oh, dude, I'm starting to get into that. What do you use? And I was like, I use this software. No, blah, no blah. you're trying to use like, you're trying to say something like really crazy where he wouldn't know what you're talking yeah. about. So he'd be like, ah, I don't know, man. So you could leave. And then he goes, I know exactly what that is. And then they just talk about it for like an oh, hour. It was so, and then everybody at the party was just like, so why were you talking to so-and-so? I was like, <laughs> I was trying to get out of it. Did you not see me sweating? You are problematic. <laughs> see, I, I would at least, I'm like, I'm really nice and I don't know how to get conversations out of conversations, but I will bring it up. Like, I remember the first time I saw uh, Yusuf uh, Fuzzy Tube after his whole Drake thing. I literally saw him at Alex's house and I was like, oh, what's up, bro? And he's like, hey. And I was like, dude, what's up with the whole Drake situation? <laughs> and everyone was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's, that's cool to talk about, right? Like, it's kind of over now. And he was like, yeah. And then we kind of talked about it and I was just asking him questions. Oh, <laughs> like question after question because I mean, we're all friends. Yeah. And it was just kind of me and him, him in a corner, but you know there were people around. Um, but he was nice about it. He answered everything. But I will ask people kind of questions. I could never was ever. It, was that a scary moment for you when like somebody actually got hit on the show? Yeah, it You're was like, oh, like, that's wrap up on production, <laughs> dude. I was so scared. I, you know, Fuzzy's a personal friend, so I was worried for him. And I was like, oh man, I feel so bad for you. 
you know, he was just fucking up left and right during that show in the beginning. And, you know, we were all super excited when he first came because he was like, oh, I'm going to be so funny. I'm going to be like, everyone's going to love me. And then he just got, you know, too drunk and, you know. Yeah, he came in so hot. Yeah, so it was it was rough. And I was like, it was brother. I was like, Yusuf, you need, you need to go to sleep. And he'd be like, all right. And then he'd kind of wake up. And then, <laughs> but when he got hit, I was like, fuck. And we ran over there. He said on someone's podcast that he was like laying on the floor for like eight minutes. Just, dude, he, you were laying on the floor for like 15, maybe like, I mean, like maybe a minute, dude. Because we ran over there the second they told us. Mm -hmm. But no, he was like fine. He got up immediately and was walking around and stuff like that. Um, but it was just like, oh shit, are we done with the show? I didn't know. I was like, look, I was worried for K and J too. Yeah. They're stressing out. They're like, fuck, dude, we want a drama, but we don't want this. Yeah, you yeah. never want anyone to get punched. Yeah. You know? So they were just like, fuck, dude, what do we do? We have to like send him home. Then we had to like make get sure he doesn't sue us. Yeah. We want to like, fuck, who do we get? We want a David Dobrik. <laughs> <laughs> we all do, don't we? But we, we knew get... Tana was leaving. So I was like, cool, at least Bryce is still here. Tana was ready to leave the moment she got there. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we knew. We we're like, dude, we were surprised how long she stayed, actually. Really? We were like, oh, she'll probably stay half a day. No, I saw when you guys were like, no one's getting eliminated this season. I was like, that was just for Tana. I was like, that was just to keep Tana on the whole time. And it's still so much. No, we, no, we knew it was going to, we knew we were trying to do that for the the rest of the series. Just because, you know, we have to switch it up. But um, it was also kind of like, well, she's probably going to try to lose the first challenge to leave. But we're still trying to keep everyone on. Yeah, that was really cool. When when you guys start planning the next one? Have you already started? Dude, we, we started planning up man, months ago, maybe like late November. No, early November. Or late October. I don't know. So you guys, because you guys shot in like September, right? Yeah. So you guys literally shot it, took like a month, and then we're just like, all right, let's get back to season four, like yeah, immediately. Well, we're not doing season. We're doing a different project. I don't know. I don't want to get fired, so I won't talk about it. But <laughs> it's a different, completely like from separate from Reality House. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to focus on that. It's actually, there's a hint on the last episode. I saw that. Yeah. What, of Reality House. He gave us like a little hint. Key and what on actually on the podcast it was like oh I, I think can't. he said like relationship or something something like that I don't know but the hint at the end has like a little heart or something right yeah I think yeah. I, I mean I think it's just gonna be I think it's gonna be a love something a love we something. won't get too much into it okay that's I love something I don't know that's groundbreaking um, he's gonna get me fired <laughs> <laughs> Kean said it right there so yeah you're good um but yeah it's gonna be fun hopefully you know it's just there's a lot of work that goes into something like that so do you think you'll stick with unscripted for a while do you ever want to do scripted stuff it just doesn't work out on youtube anymore no i just meant like even in general films like and tv shows oh, and yeah, stuff like that 100 percent. yeah i i love i mean i just filmed two tiktok two tiktoks the other day scripted hell yeah yeah <laughs> direct tv paid me to uh they have uh they sponsor oh. a, a content house called family fuego so they hired, really? yeah, they hired my production team to film two TikToks. K and J was in it. Really, oh, that's yeah, awesome. Scripted. I got my my team wrote it out. Um, it was cool, man. I love scripted stuff. That's like where I would want to go in life. Um, but right now, I'm having fun doing like, uh, these yeah. little social experiments with my friends. It's yeah, fun. it's kind of cool because you never know what's going to come out either. Like scripted, you you kind of have a general idea. Like some people improv, but this it's you never really know. Yeah, exactly. You kind of found find magic on the day, as the kids say. Being in the YouTube game this long, I feel like you've seen a lot of people rise up and then completely fall um, off the map. And mm. it's, it's very dangerous to be in social media. So I was kind of wondering, I feel like the next wave of people that have fallen off, I, I want to know what they're doing. Like, how do they make money? Do they have a hard... I don't know if you have anybody that you have a hard time getting a real job after that. Because I worked real jobs before this. So if I fell off fell off i feel like i'd be more comfortable getting a real job again i didn't know if you knew of anyone that's had a, like a hard time with that or yeah i mean um you know we all struggle uh it's kind of kind of like you know sad and stuff um but you know even my roommate george who you know pretty much took me under his ring wing he for a little bit was post mating he doesn't do that anymore he's back on his feet yeah but you know he's just a responsible guy like if he sees that he's not getting enough brand deals or making of enough money off of social media he was like well I'm not going to wait around and like, yeah. you know, wait for my bills to, you know, stack up. I'm going to like get a job. So he posts me. So it's kind of like heartbreaking, but it's also like. No, those are the people I like the most though. Mm -hmm. They don't have the ego of, because I feel like a lot of them, or a lot of people that I've seen have fallen off that probably should get regular jobs. I don't know how they're making it. 
it's also like hard because if you think about it, like you've been doing this for like eight, nine years or whatever. It's like if you try to go get a real job after that, they go, what is this eight year, nine year gap yeah. in, in your in employment history? Then you just go, oh, I used to make videos on the Internet and they go, all right, have a nice day. Well, well I think people should just like go into social media, like whether it be managing or like I remember there was a company when I first started, not first time, maybe a couple of years in. They were like, hey, we'll pay you salary. And I remember it was like $65,000 a year. And I was like, whoa. And I was in charge of like the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And they're like, you're going to be the creative something. And I was like, whoa, should I just fucking do this? And then I was like, nah, I'm just going to. That's good to know that it maybe exists. in the long run, mm -hmm. you know, if I fucking fall off, which is probably sooner than later, <laughs> honestly. Well, no, especially with these TikTokers, like a lot of people or all they do is lip sync or dance to other people's stuff. It's like, okay, what if two years from now, no one cares anymore? Yeah. Like, what's your work history? What's, <laughs> did you make enough on brand deals to, cause to live off it for the rest of your life? Cause, and that's yeah. the thing is that like a lot of them could like with, cause there's the, like, I don't know if the listeners know this, but there's crazy money when it comes to like brand deals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like a lot it of doesn't come people, to me, <laughs> I, but there's crazy same. money. Um, but, uh, like a lot of these kids could like last like 10, 20, 30 years, like with the amount of money that they're getting, but then they yeah. all blow it on like designer clothes and like expensive cars and nice houses and stuff like yeah. that. Like we have friends that are paying like eight, nine, ten thousand dollars in rent a month. And it's like, why that's fucking nuts? Why are you doing that? You that's get a two thousand dollar apartment, even that's good for just by yourself, and then that eight thousand you're investing that every month for a year. Do you guys have any friends where you want to look at like Dude, what are you gonna do in a couple years? Good Anytime question. I go to a TikTok party, they're not my really my friends, but I, I I'm just like, there's no longevity to this. Yeah, that's kind of scary. That's that's one of my friends or like or people that like, David, what should I? I want to be an influencer. Like, what should I do? And I'm like, what, you, what should you do? I mean, I I didn't try to be an influencer. I was just like, oh, well, let me write and be funny. Yeah. And then it just kind of happened. I can't tell you like give you an idea what you should do. And two, don't do it. It's too scary. <laughs> It's, like yeah. it's so oversaturated now. Like mm -hmm. you can have one video pop off and be like, oh, I think I'm doing good. I'm going to kill it. And then the rest of them just suck ass. Yeah. And then once you find like your consistency, you're like, well, I'm making these videos for the rest of my life looks like because <laughs> um, this will pay rent. Hey, guys, this episode is brought to you by BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp is the best place to find counseling um, if you're having a little trouble, maybe with your mental help or you just want to tune up the the old brain. You know, we, we get our car tuned up, Jared. We, we, sure we go in for an oil change. We can't do that for our mental health. That's why BetterHelp is a great place because it's not as scary as going into um, a traditional therapy appointment where you don't know the person and then you're just in this room. You might feel awkward. You can do this in the comfort of your home on a computer. You've used a computer, Jared. I've seen you use a computer. It's one right here. You can meet with licensed professional counselor counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, and grief. Self-esteem. The self-esteem one, especially. I got a lot of work to be done there. Depression is the one that I'm going to be hitting home for. I'm going to be looking into that. It's affordable. It's professional and everything is confidential. So get out there. Help your brain out, people. We want you all to start living happier lives today. So as our listeners, you can get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash dropouts. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that is betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dropouts. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode. We also want to thank our sponsor, ShipStation. Do you have an online store and you need things shipped easily? and affordably and with the best rates, you gotta use ShipStation. It's the best, honestly, thing that I've ever experienced in my life. I have so many items I wanna sell to people, but shipping is the biggest hassle every single time. Now with ShipStation. I have never had a more peace of mind than using ShipStation. My mental sanity is so much easier when I don't have to worry about shipping. We all know that online shopping is not slowing down anytime soon, and if your business is not ready to handle it, you're gonna get left behind. You're gonna get left behind. You hear me? You ever been left behind? That's where you're going to be. But with ShipStation, you'll never have to worry about that because you'll never have to worry about shipping again. Never in your whole entire life. Wow, that's convenient. We're doing a good cop, bad cop thing. So make the switch to a solution that handles 
all of your shipping needs quickly, affordably, and painlessly. ShipStation is already trusted by over 100,000 e-commerce sites. And you know why that is? Why? Because you can keep track of orders from any sales channel. I love doing that. That's my favorite thing to do, actually. You can easily find the best carriers with the best rates. That's the reason I love the service. And you can automate just about any task that has to do with shipping with a few clicks. And you guys should use ShipStation as well. If you have online stores, if you're shipping, it is the easiest thing and the best thing you'll ever do in your life. Ship more in less time with ShipStation and use our offer code dropouts to get a 60 day free trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Go to ShipStation.com. Go to the microphone at the top of the page. Click it. Type in our name, dropouts. ShipStation. Make ship happen. Thank you, ShipStation. Thank you, ShipStation. I love you so much. Back to the show. Well, when we first started, I think that's why it kind of, well, we got on a TikTok at the right time, but I think the it reason was, it kind of took off was because we were just trying to make ourselves laugh. And we, yeah, like, we were almost making fun of the app. And then we just, because you came out, he came out. It was, uh, you started it in like July of 2020. So mm-hmm. like just mid pandemic, you know, and, uh, that's when you started. Yeah. Holy shit. And Crazy. I feel like it might've been 2019. So he came out, he's like, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to start making TikToks. And I was mm. sitting on the couch. I was like, I roasted this dude because I thought yeah. it was still like musically. I was like, you are not going to go on the no. internet and lip sync and dance to songs. He's like, no, like you can use it like Vine and make make comedy videos and stuff. And uh, um, I was, he's like, he's like, do you want to help or whatever? And so our the first video we ever made, <laughs> the phone is on the floor. Mom, you no, you can't. Mom, are you dead? You can't die. It's pizza night. Mom's Mom. dead? Mom's dead. Look. It's fucking pizza night. What a whore. That was a terrible video. No, but it's like, we were just like goofing around. You guys got to send that to me later. We are a couple goofballs. But one of my favorite videos on TikTok is the one that I used to do with you. Um, I feel like I could have executed it a lot better. I gave everybody not that much notice, but like. Oh, those were fun, bro. Those were those were really fun. Because I, I used to love Whose Line Is It Anyway. Yeah. And if they had like a rated R version, that would be really fun. I want to do those anymore. Um, it's too hard to get you to come over. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I know. Last second, I came in four minutes. Like, what are you talking about? No, but yeah, we should we should do those again. Um, yeah, you do those ones with Indy, essentially, kind of when she asks you a question in the car, right? Oh yeah, those those do well. Um, I started this new series where I walk in and I start saying dumb stuff. Yeah, I don't like that I, series. Yeah, <laughs> I don't either. I was like, fuck this. This is dumb. But. <laughs> <laughs> So Jack in the Box? Yeah. Still working with them? Yeah, I still work with them. They're fun. Just uh, a random question. That's, <laughs> I didn't have that prepared. That just gave in my head. So Jack in the Box, huh? Do you want to play that play that game? Well, we have... Who's in your mouth? We close our eyes. Uh, <laughs> David Dobrik? <laughs> no, you wish. Ah. One of our other questions. Um, so you've given away 12 cards. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've prepared all those questions. <laughs> all David Dobrik questions. Damn it. We can play red flags or we can read uh, some Am I the Asshole stories. Okay. Red flags, dude. See, he, red, he flags. red flags? Yeah. Be a red flag guy. I used to have a series on my channel where I would drive with, drive in my car and then I'd have a guest and we'd talk about red flags. What is your biggest red flag? Following influencer. Well, in what, in what sense? Like dating a girl? You can give me a few different instances. I don't know. If like I... Like my girlfriend DM'd me and if I checked her following and she was following like every influencer I knew, I'd be like... Probably not going to go out with this girl. It's probably some ulterior motive. How, wait, so she did DM you? She did, yeah. Nice. How did she figure you out? And she was following no one that I knew. She said she just saw me on, my, on her Explore page. And I think I just posted out a video, so it's kind of like doing well. She was like, oh, this is funny. It's probably pretty nice to have a girlfriend that's not in the world of yeah, talking about great. normal things. Where does she, she does- work? She literally, the only person she knew was David Dobrik. Yeah, and then she Trust was, me, <laughs> us too. I literally, like, I, I took her to David's house. And she was like, oh, my God, we're going to David Dobrik's house. And I was like, ah, <laughs> ah that hurts. You. Um, do you know how to play this game? No. How does it go? Okay. So basically, we're going to grab um, two white cards and one red card um, each. And then uh, we're going to try to create a date for each other. So Jared will go first. So the white cards are good attributes for a girl. So it's like really good kisser, beautiful eyes. And the bad attribute is like, but like wants to have sex with your family. And then uh, you, Jared has to pick the lesser of two red flags, so which one he'd want to date. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Well, let's uh, let's let him choose first. All right. You well, so we'll pick the cards for you, and you tell us which girl you'd rather date. Okay. Owns real dinosaurs. 
So if you've ever experienced dinosaurs, she's got them. That's freaking sick. And this sick. one's pretty funny. Sick, a YouTube celebrity is on this card. <laughs> okay. Um, but Good unfortunately, they're a hooker taxidermist. A hooker taxidermist? I actually don't know what that means. So they taxidermy dead, dead. hookers? Yeah. That's pr- <laughs> well. So they're murder. <laughs> Still murder. We don't know. They. I think she's a hooker. Her, like the hobby is. So the hooker thought when she died, she'd be done getting stuffed. But um, <laughs> one more yeah. time. So what do I have to pick again? Okay. So now he's going to okay. say his. And then you got to pick which girl you'd rather oh, okay, go on gotcha, a date gotcha, with. Gotcha. So this girl is spontaneous and fun. Right? Oh, love it. You'll never have a dull moment with her. She's also a famous fashion designer. So you'll be dripped out the entire <laughs> time you're with her. You sound like a 40-year-old dad when you say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but she has a literal fire crotch. So it's just on fire. It's on fire? It's on fire. Like. See, the thing is, like, <laughs> yours is a YouTube celebrity. Yep. And I'm guessing the reason why she's an influencer is because she has real dinosaurs. <laughs> or a hooky taxidermist. Yeah. Hooker taxidermist. It's either one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's it's a real little, niche market. Little she's got content. <laughs> yeah, that one I really can't really, you know. Dinosaur yeah, you is kind of a trump card. With. The, I know. No matter what you do. Yeah, I want to hang out with dinosaurs, dude. Jurassic Park, hello. It's my childhood. Oh, okay, let's give him let's give him one more. That was kind of a bad uh Yeah. Okay, hold on. And then, you know, fun and spontaneous. Who needs that? This this lady, this sweet, sweet girl has oh. the same favorite music. Okay. That's that wonderful. Me? Yeah. Okay. I guess listen to the same tunes. Yeah. Um, I don't have you, good music. You won't have to fight over the ox in the car, you know? Always oh, smell always smells like your favorite smell. What's your favorite smell? <sighs> Dude, I don't know. Well, <laughs> trust me, she would smell like it. <laughs> um, unfortunately, won't date you un- until you join their suicide pact. Oh my god! So oh. something to think about. <laughs> oh, when's the pact? Can I ask? Like, when, when is she playing? Like, can you just make up? You one? can ask her, but I'm not her. So okay. you gotta think about it. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. This girl uh, is a firefighter. <laughs> so Hot. she's around sexy dudes all day. Do hook her up with Hot. the fire crotch girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, she's also. An airline pilot. Um, busy girl. Never <laughs> see her. Two jobs. You'll probably get back on that Friday, you would love Sunday that. schedule. You would love that. Yeah, I wish she was a firefighter on... On airplanes? Airplanes, just in yeah. case they catch fire. That's smart. She's a fire marshal. But she yells, fuck you, at every baby she sees. <laughs> <laughs> so. Damn. That's really funny, though. <laughs> that is kind of cool. That'd be amazing, actually. I'd be like, wow, the I, ball's on that girl. I would love and imagine to just the number of that. And she works on a plane, so that's the perfect place to <laughs> oh, say it. Oh, my yeah. God. Or she runs into a burning building, and she just, like, <laughs> sees a baby left in the crib. She's, she's like, like, fuck you. you. And then just keeps going. <laughs> yeah. Leaves it. So what was the bad thing about yours? Um, You have to join her suicide pact. Oh, I'd probably do the, the fuck you. Okay. Just okay. because that would be funny to me a little bit. Death. <laughs> Killing myself, I don't know about that one. Like, I'm kind of happy. Depending right on now. like how we're gonna kill ourselves, you know. Yeah, it also depends on your mental state. Like right now, it's good, but five years from now, perfect girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, you can pick two white cards and a red one, and then we'll do it for Jared. Are you doing it for me now? You can give you can give him your girl. Okay, check it out. Professional surfer, dude. Oh, so she's sick. wearing bikinis all the time. She's at the beach. Ooh, love it. Uh, best smelling person in the world. Wow. In okay. the world. So she's not going to come out smelling like an ocean. She's always going to smell like flowers or something. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's, well, it's best smelling person in the world for you. Okay. okay. So like you think she's the best, which kind of explains like the red flag is that she shits out of her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so you know i don't know what that says about you but that's does it like smell afterwards like but how does that work she's smelling? the best it's you know they cancel each other out <laughs> do they she she keeps a little breath mint on her pops yeah. it in she's good to go okay all right oh make scented candles so pretty cool i it's like romantic. candles I they're, do love candles. their morning breath smells like fresh baked cookies Ooh. oh my god unfortunately Fair might be a dude because has a visible erection at all times so, um, uh, uh, how big is your erection? Okay, an erection it, or a poop bigger mouth? than mine? Because it just, what if it's like a really big clitoris? And that's something you can be into. Um, what they call you in uh, high school, clit captain or <laughs> captain clit? I feel shit's out of her mouth. <laughs> Just, well, you know, it's like pooping, actually. You don't see them. Like, she's not yeah, going, like, like, excuse me, bleh, shit. It's like she's going to the bathroom. Exactly. She's a lady about it. She wipes like this. <laughs> <laughs> you will have to pay a lot in toilet paper. That's fine. You know what? I, I'm going to go with shit for mouth. Really? Maybe. 
a visible erection, a visible erection. She at all can't help it. Times? At all times. She's but, horny. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Pick poop she's, boy. She's horny all the time. Actually. <laughs> all right. We'll do. We'll do me now. All right. Ooh. So I have a bunch of blanks. So I'm just gonna come up with them. Feel free. <laughs> oh, Sweet. Ooh. So me and Jared, we're gonna work together as a team to oh, create a perfect we? girl until the very last one. Okay. Uh. So this girl, Zach, she's perfect for you. Yeah. She loves staying in. I do oh. love a good stay in. Okay. She'd be the perfect hostage situation. She also drives a car that you can't get a uh, car sick in. It was blank. So it drives a blank. So I'm a big car sick guy. Yeah. He's really? huge. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So Let's see, bro. Love staying in. <laughs> That's what my dad used to say <laughs> if he was around. Uh, but every time you have an orgasm with them, you lose one year of your life. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Honestly, with my mental state right now, it's perfect. <laughs> it's a great way to go out. Let's, let's, yeah. ner- let's not 30 times this week and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Owns a blank. So I'm going to say owns a mansion. Nice. Okay. Stay in, okay? Separate Why is he rooms. there? <laughs> I thought you said us. Is a professional uh, blank. So I'm going to say a professional uh, writer. So she can write you any sketch or whatever you want. Like yeah, she can help you with everything. Future. Okay, that's nice. And she's a professional with the cards, so that. But means a lot. Uh, I think Hitler Hitler had some good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly all well, of his so bad. Zach, his so bad match made in heaven. <laughs> Adolf, Adolf, I assume. I think so. They didn't put their first name. <laughs> okay, so let's assume it's the other one. <laughs> let's um, what was your bad one? Every time you have an <laughs> orgasm with them, you lose a year of your life. <laughs> this one, when you're having sex, she's you know. She's reading uh Mein Kampf. Yeah. <laughs> goes, like Mein goes, Kampf. I think that's what it's called. He puts it in the book. <laughs> I don't like Hitler. I want to put that on the record, but I also don't like losing my life. You don't like him, but you don't hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Um, <laughs> but good call. Kidding. Legally, I'm going to go with lose my life. <laughs> <laughs> Legally. Yeah. <laughs> what? Because I feel like you can maybe try to convince her out of it. I went out with a date. <laughs> I went out on a date with a girl who was like, a super right wing and like I remember our first date she was like let's not talk politics and I was like oh okay <laughs> yeah it was weird a weird thing to bring like, up but out of nowhere and I was like okay cool and then uh then she found out I was like Latino and I was like and this was right when like she's like so the wall <laughs> and you're like whoa <laughs> dude yes <laughs> oh okay <laughs> dude yes like what? Yeah, a joke. no like literally it was right when like Trump got um uh, became president and she was uh, she was like yeah I'm Latino and she was like oh I didn't know that and I was like yeah she was like you know, just so you know, like I'm a big Trump supporter and like she just started talking about it and talking about the wall and just kind of how like it's kind of makes sense and how people should, you know, stay in their country and they have to come in legally. And I was like, whoa, this really sucks because you're really hot. <laughs> she was like really hot. And I was like, Pfft. and I'm still dating her now. Her name is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the last time just because, you know, I don't think she liked Latinos. Well, the wall comment probably. That kind of um, sealed the deal. Sure yeah. that. All right, let's, should we do one more for him and then we'll... Yeah. I have a question. You brought up something that you like to stay in. Uh, is is your girlfriend the same way? Who? <laughs> oh, Jerry? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, he's the same way. Um, okay, so this sweet, sweet lady gives you multiple orgasms. Love it. Nice. You need help with that. Dude, I do. <laughs> uh, a park ranger. Oh, cool. that's kind of hot. Are you outdoorsy at yeah. all? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's so fucking... And then every morning you wake up with a new hypodermic needle mark on your genitals. I don't know if I'm smart enough to understand that. <laughs> Are you, she, she's injecting you or With taking something? things out of your balls every night. But what if she's trying to help me? I don't know that, okay? What All I know is that this dick? is a red card, so I have a feeling she's not trying to help you. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's, uh, interesting. Maybe she's just dumb and like thinks that, that how she, that's how she can get my sperm out. Oh, there you go. That's... Maybe she is dumb. But would you want to be with a girl that puts a needle in your penis every night? She can make him Come multiple times. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. You're a good <laughs> call. My girlfriend already does that. You do, babe. Shout out. Grace. I was actually going to say Grace, and I was going to be really proud of myself. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted her name. You son of a bitch. You don't even know my girlfriend's name. Wow. Uh, I ate food with her one time. Same girl, please. Oh, yeah, we did. Yes, we sir. Did. We ate Korean barbecue. Yeah, you were invited. We went on a double date. It was uh, me and Grace, and then him and the Montoya twins and her yeah. parents. Yeah, so I took, I had the four <laughs> of them. It was a wild night after that, that's yeah. all I got to say. So this girl... Lives in a castle. Sick. Sick. Mansion, essentially. And she is a college English professor. Hot. So smart. Smart, educated. Um, 
but she, and this is like, honestly, kind of easy to look past. Mm -hmm. um, she murdered your family. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I, do I get to choose which family members? It says just, it's just like whole family. I, Let them choose the family. members. Yeah. Yeah. You can choose the family members. What was the first thing again? Lives <laughs> in a castle. See, the castle thing is just not enough. <laughs> but she's also a college English professor. So. That, is that enough? She's educated. I'm going to add she's tenured. So. Ten dude. <laughs> so She's not losing that job. That castle's yeah. staying. I'm going to have to go with a needle. Damn. It's disrespectful. Because if you kill my mom. <laughs> one, but literally one time. <laughs> literally one time. She's not killing your mom. Like That's ugh. true. How's your mom doing? She's pretty bad. Thanks for asking. Ugh. But I wonder, like, what if she did it on accident? Like, let's say she was, like, maybe trying to cook and then just the house exploded. So she technically killed my whole family. Well, either way, your family's dead. Is that worth a and castle? she did it. If my girlfriend now accidentally killed my whole family by accident, I would just, like, whenever she's getting angry at me, I'd be like, you killed my family. <laughs> That's a good call. You That's know I love you, but you shut up. I messed up. My bad. I saw my mom's brain splattered on the side of the wall because of you. Yeah, who cares if I was messaging this girl? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> who cares if there's another girl in my bed right now? Who cares? Right? I'm you agree? I'm going through something. My family's dead <laughs> because of you. That was 60 years ago. I don't care. I still have commitment issues. <laughs> All right. Well, what time are, are we at? Are you a Bengals fan? Yeah. Yeah, I'm from Cincy. Holy shit, dude. That's going to suck for you on the 13th. Oh, are you sure about that? 100%. Because we're going to make history. So, Oh, new segment. Sports talk. Sports, sports talk. Sports, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the Super Bowl. Do you guys have a connect? No, I'm trying to find one. Dude, me too. Whose dick do I got to suck, dude? That's what I'm saying. I would li low key, though. I low key. I'm I would sure the not be. Let's look at the tickets right now. Let's just do it. Impulse buy. Impulse buy. Yeah, I've already looked. The cheapest just look ones it up, are five thousand dollars. No, they've come down. No, they haven't. Yeah, they have four thousand. <laughs> no, uh, Manny MUA. Uh, he messaged me and he was like, "I got tickets to the Super Bowl." And I was like, oh, "And I thought he was gonna ask me because he knows I'm a big fucking fan." And I was like, "Oh my god, dude, that's fucking sick." And he was like, "Yeah." And he's taking someone else. And I was like, "Bro, I will <laughs> why would you bring it up?" I was like, "I will suck your penis, <laughs> Manny. I'll do it." We got the nosebleeds for forty five hundred. Okay, so, that's me, 45. Yeah. How much, if you how, bought one right now, I'll buy one right now with you guys. I don't have that kind of money. Neither do I, but I'll, I will But I have my daddy's credit card right now. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a tax write-off. Oh, that's you a good just gotta, point. You just got to make one story there. That's a good point. But he has to do his taxes for that. Does your dad or anybody in your family really love football? No. I mean, they watch football for sure, but um, they're what, not like... What if we surprise our best friend since childhood with tickets to the Super Bowl? That's a tax write-off. It That's, is. Yeah. If you guys put your money to get together, Dude, it's not that bad. Anything's let's just, possible. Let's just use what we have in the dropouts. But account. we're not sitting there. Let's. Uh, what are I the mean, you, lower uh, level Think seats? about how much money you guys are going to make off of this fucking <laughs> podcast. Probably like... Forty five hundred dollars or forty dollars. I mean, like the whole the whole podcast, not like just oh this for episode. like six years of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're Those right about 85 that. Eighty five episodes. <laughs> um, here we go. I found some like kind of by yeah, the field. I, I want to see it. Well, nine thousand four hundred fifty nine. So Wait, where? Right no. here. No, those are terrible seats, bro. Okay, well, you listen. Go in the middle. Fifty yard line. Go in the middle. Go in the middle. Here, we're gonna go. Let's see. Twenty two thousand for okay, fifty go, yard line. Go back. Go back one row. Big row. Again, the oh, only like reason here? we brought you is because we thought you had a connection with SeatGeek. So 18000 That's 000. the other David Dobrik, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm going to use code Dobrik and get $20 off my first purchase. <laughs> <laughs> so now it was only uh, $27,000 and 36 cents. We should go to the parade at least. Oh, I'm so down for that. I don't even know where it is, but. The freaking Bengals are in the Super Bowl for the first time since 88, and it's in Los Angeles. Is it Joe Burrow's first year? It's technically his second, second right? but he was out the first year. Right? Yeah, he got hurt like mid season. So this is like his like rookie and a half year or whatever. But you still hunt. I could be wrong, yeah, but I, I do see the Rams steamrolling this game. Are you sure about that? I really, I, I really hope they think. don't. Like, I want it to come down to like overtime. The Bengals just go for a fucking touchdown and, and they all get of a sudden, it. They, they intercept it. It's a pick six. And then we win. And then Joe Burrow knocks his ass out. He fumbles. <laughs> and then Joe Mixon picks it up and runs it in. And then. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, I no, I want it to be a good game. I, I do think the Rams are going to run away with it, though. I don't think so. I think so, too. I know you don't think so, but if you were for the Rams, what do you they would have, think What so. do they have other than, like, Joe Burrow better than the Rams? What do the <laughs> Bengals have? Yeah. Dude, Defense? Are you kidding? No. No, no offense, offensive line. No. Uh, the offensive line does concern me. If he, I, if he yeah. had like two more seconds to throw a ball. Yeah, if he was able that's what they need to get in this next draft is some 
like offensive linemen, like good ones. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause yeah, if he had, if he had more than a second to stand in the pocket before he has to like run for his life. Cause think about it. He got to the super bowl having to run for his life. Like if he was able to yeah, stand but see, there, like they had to run for their lives. Well, we got in there because, uh, San Francisco fumbled that. that Dude, period. I don't know how they. Fo- you know the like guy who uh, didn't catch that ball. Mm-hmm. How like how bad do you think that guy feels? Oh my god, he. I'm surprised. It up. Like they would have won it. Didn't just like quit after that. Um, yeah, you you probably sit on that for like for days. Like you're just watching your favorite movie and you're like, fuck, <laughs> god I damn it. I can't imagine how it feels when something mattered. I I played a high school tennis match that I lost. I think about to this day. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I would have yeah. just hit a better first serve. Are you good at tennis? Uh, yeah, I played in college. Um, you played David Dobrik? I feel like you heard he's good. <laughs> Dude, you know how many people I have? We've had it even on this podcast. They're like, you got to play with David. I was like. <laughs> you think you'll beat him? Yeah. Oh. Dude, fuck, dude. Fuck uh, I can't, YouTube I boxing. Can't. Dude, let's do YouTube tennis matches, baby. It would, it would, oh, I would, it would be so funny that. if we were able to hype it up to that extent. I mean, it was like a <laughs> tennis match, like a full out. No, Dude, I, I put your put your uh, pink cards or what do you call pink slips on it? Oh yeah, I'll definitely no. put my pink slip on it. If he put his on it, I would oh. get a much better deal. No, yeah. no, but for 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 like social media wise, like you get his Instagram. What does he get from exactly? That? He gets your six- Instagram. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he would just be, he would kill himself right after he got mine. <laughs> um, That'd be kind of cool. If you could like, like, all right, let's bet this right here. And then like he bets his following and you bet his following. Yeah. I wish I had, I feel like I would have to bet like $50 million and he'd bet his following. Yeah. I don't have that. I would love to play. I, I do want to play tennis with him. I did dislocate my knee. MRI tomorrow though. Are you praying yeah. for it yet? I don't um, care. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Like, <laughs> honestly, you, you, Walk downstairs again, man. I'm not really too worried. Yeah, that is that is what most like, people I'm gonna say. I'm going to save. I'm going to save my prayers for like I don't know Jared losing the Super Bowl. <laughs> the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, no, Bengals got it in the bag. Do they? Hundred percent. How much? How much money you want to put on it? I'll put about five bucks on it. Let's play a fun game where one of us has to buy Super Bowl tickets for each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Nose goes. Nose goes. Oh, oh shit. No, oh, that was a fun game. Wait, right, wait. Let's... Actually, can that be a can that be a YouTube video we all do together? Where it's you know that guy has a penny, and then he is trying to make it into a house. Oh yeah. Where like we have to start today, and no matter what, we have to make it into the Super Bowl. We without, like, dude, buy, that have, would go viral. We have a week. Yeah, without buying our own tickets. Let's do it. Actually, that's kind of great. That's yeah. a great idea. But it's gonna be really sad at the end of the week. We're just like watching it on a small TV. We we can start with these Bengals boxers right here. No, what we could do, okay, we know some we have to figure out who has tickets, right? We know Manny MUA has one, right? Okay. Easily so, fightable, right? So we need to figure out how to get a penny to something that <laughs> he wants. We could start at a hydro flask, honestly. That's a good place to start. Okay, how much does he like football? I don't know. Does it does it not seem like if it doesn't seem like a lot, like I feel like there's something we could bargain. Yeah, but I think there's a brand taking him, so he has to. But he has got a plus one. Oh, oh man! Then there's three of us, and we are already going. Hear, <laughs> <laughs> hear me out. We just all get on each other's shoulders and get like one long trench coat. That's a bad call, Jared. They'll notice it immediately. Like in um the Rascals. Yeah. Um, now like, I'm at, that, actually, that would be a great. Now idea, I'm actually though. thinking about it. I know. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's good. Your legs shaking. You're thinking legs shaking. I know. Yeah, thinking legs shaking. And then you know what? If we don't make it, we just uh, who cares. You know how bad it would a video would be if we just all texted our managers and they're like, yeah, I could probably work out a brand deal and we just get it immediately. We're just like, oh, we're douchebags. <laughs> like we, didn't, we didn't have to work for it at all. We're just like 50 yard line. Yeah, yeah. Woo. No, dude, I tried. I texted my manager and I was like, dude, I will fucking do this shit for free. I'll post for X amount of times. I don't give a shit. I just want to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, but he said, no one gives a shit about your following. So I was like, yeah. That's the thing. I feel like everybody that like has a following that like brands would care about taking, they don't give a shit about the super or like football yeah, in don't. general. And so then they just like, don't go. They're just like, nah, I have better things to do. No, they start- do. no, they do go. They go like someone who has a big social media following will go and they'll be taken by Revolve or fucking someone cool. Um, but they don't give a shit about football, but they'll mm-hmm. go because like, yeah, I'm going to the Super Bowl. Suck it, dude. They're just there for the Instagram picture. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's leverage our relationships. You know, Keenan and JC, we know you. Um, so we'll just kind of leverage it that way. Yeah, what about Indy though, dude? She's got like 4 million followers, doesn't she? She's also in Australia. So that puts a damper on things. I've got, I got 3.5. I can leverage that with her like 4.7. Oh yeah. I feel like as long as we get to 20. Okay. So we're going to add people. I have 78,000. <laughs> well, what if you text and tell her, hey, can you buy me 
Super Bowl tickets. Gosh, she would. <laughs> She's not good with her money. That's Terrible. what I'm saying. <laughs> That's how we end the video. <laughs> <laughs> she buys it for us. How much money? How much money does Grace have? I mean, I think she saves her money. She's a smart girl. Okay, okay, then let's take that. No, she's she's got oh, a real we'll job. Take, we'll take Indy's money, but okay. She gets money to post photos. Yeah, that's Grace has I'm, a that's, real nine to five. That's true. <laughs> so we'll take half of what she has. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are these asshole stories? Okay, so there's a, a Reddit thread called am i the asshole mm. you right? got to kind of determine and so these people tell like they they always tell these stories about mm. times that they've like pissed people off or whatever and then they're like am i wrong in this situation and you have to determine if they are the asshole yeah so this one uh am i the asshole for avoiding my ex i'm uh, thinking about nothing but how to get in this super bowl but go ahead <laughs> yeah <laughs> I had been dating my ex-fiance, Sarah, for about four years, and we had been planning to get married in November of 2020, but I found out at the start of this month that she cheated on me. She begged me to give her another chance, but I broke it off, okay? Uh, the problem was that being cheated on, uh, in my mind, is completely emasculating and humiliating, so I never told anyone that that was the reason we broke up. For obvious reasons, Sarah also didn't tell people we broke up because she cheated, so people have blamed me for the breakup, including my mom. They just see that I dumped her out of the blue. I've gone very strict no contact with Sarah after I discovered she's cheating on me, but Sarah has been talking with my mom and has convinced her that if we could talk one more time, we would be able to reconcile. My mom has been applying hardcore pressure on me to talk with Sarah, but I've explained that there's no chance we'll ever get back together. So tonight, I go over to my mom's place because she's hosting family for Christmas Eve. I'm there for a bit talking with my aunts and uncles and cousins when the doorbell rings and I can see it's Sarah. I ask what the fuck is going <laughs> on and my mom says she invited Sarah so we can work this out in the spirit of the holidays. I'm, uh, I'm pissed now because the only way to explain my side of the story is to tell everyone I was cheated on. Complete humiliation in front of my whole family. So as my mom goes for the front door, I go into the bathroom. My mom starts knocking on the door saying that I need to come out and talk to my ex like an adult. I say fuck it, kick out the window screen, jump <laughs> out the window, and get in my car and go home. My mom called a short while ago saying she's cutting ties with me over my behavior. She's really fixated on me jumping out of a window and that Sarah will always be like a child to her. My sister called me after to ream me for ruining Christmas. I broke down and told her that Sarah cheated on me and which is why I dumped her and didn't want to see her under any cir circumstances. She called me a big asshole who was lying to cover for myself. Am I really in the wrong? I think you're just an idiot, dude. <laughs> He's a dumbass. Dude, dude, you have this fucking card, this fucking golden. Yeah, look, I'm not an asshole. Yeah, and you're you've not been playing hiding it, so it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get what the big deal is. Just be like, yeah, she cheated on me. And then, obviously, yeah. at that point, mom's going to be a little sad and be like, I'm sorry. And you think people are going to be like, you're embarrassing. No, he's going to get so much sympathy. Yeah. Exactly. Like, get laid. It's not humiliating. Yeah, his mom's going to lay him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly where I was going with that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. That's what everyone in the comments was saying. They're just like, what the fuck? Like, you're not an asshole, but also, what is your problem? Dude, his mom would probably buy him Super Bowl tickets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did she buy us Super Bowl? We'll tell I, her his mom. I would tell I've him, been like, cheated on before. So, yeah, let's. How'd you find out? Dude, I've walked in on them. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Like I, sex? I've, uh, not, it wasn't sex, but it definitely, I'm pretty sure progressed to that after I left, but you think they just kept going. No. So this is what happened, right? Um, so I, we, we were hanging out and then, uh, we worked at the same place and her sister was our manager at the place. Mm -hmm. I go upstairs to talk to her sister about a scheduling thing in the time I'm talking. It's like 10, 15 minutes in the time that I'm talking to her sister. She texts this other guy that we work with to come over who lives in the neighborhood. He comes over. And then they start like making out on the couch. I come back downstairs and um, I was like real quiet and they didn't hear me. And I walk in, see them making out on the couch. I turn around, grab my shoes and I walk out. Shit. This is at like 10 or 11 at night. I yeah. don't get a text until like two or three in the morning. And it, all it says is, hey, where'd you go? <laughs> Dude. So did you ever tell her? Yeah. And then she was like, she tried to deny. It. I was like, I <laughs> no, that wasn't saw me. You. I saw it. And then she was like, you got me. Um, and then I had to work with them for like six. This was in high school, yeah. but I had to work with them for like six months after that. And I watched him ask her to homecoming <laughs> and prom at work. 
Oh my god, that sucks. Dude. So that was. Fun. I'm happy for them though because they really found the one. Okay, this one's this one's funny. Okay, better be. Am I the asshole for pretending to be an appletarian? I don't even know what that means. No. Eating only apple-derived foods and drinks. Like apple pie. Is that the end of it? Juice. No, no, no. Yes. no. That's, that's just the, the title, right? Um, I got the idea a few weeks ago to prank my friends by pretending to be an appletarian, meaning somebody who only eats food products that are derived from apples and would only drink apple juice or apple cider. I told them all that I had read on the internet that eating apples was the healthiest thing for you. When I first told them, they thought I was joking, but they underestimated how committed I would be to a joke. So whenever in the presence of one of my friends, uh, I was very careful to only be seen eating apples or drinking apple juice or cider. Apples, whole diced applesauce, the inside of an apple pie, baked apples, candy apples, you name it. Uh, finally, after about a week, they... They bought that I'd become an appletarian. They started giving me information about how unhealthy it was to only eat apples, growing increasingly exasperated by it, and some of them even got angry. But I wanted to stick with the joke. Finally, after the end of three weeks, I walked into what I was told was a movie night, but actually turned out to be an intervention. <laughs> oh, shit. They were all super concerned about my well-being and had all sorts of information. Um, and finally, I started laughing hysterically. They were all confused as hell. So I told them I'd been faking it the whole time and been eating real meals outside of their knowledge. I even took out some beef jerky from my pants pocket to prove it and munched it. They thought... Uh, I thought they'd appreciate the joke, but they were actually really annoyed. My girlfriend even broke up with me over this. Oh, come on. A few days ago, I had ruined our date night when I told the waiter I only wanted <laughs> apples because I was an appletarian <laughs> and had embarrassed her for a that's dumb hilarious. joke. That looks really funny. <laughs> yeah, that's just a guy who's committed to the bit. Yeah, that's really funny. If that's hilarious, right? If my right? girlfriend did that, I'd instantly marry her there. Yeah. Like break up with him just because he's an apple boy? <laughs> and like not even a real one. He's an just apple a, He's just a... <laughs> God, those Apples. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's funny. That's hilarious. All right, this will be the I last one. Do something like that. Would I be the asshole if I asked my new boyfriend not to wear his mother's ashes around his neck <laughs> during sex? <laughs> so just let that be the end of it. Yeah. Dude, I'd be more into it. I'd be like two yeah. I was like threesome? Here we go. Oh God. <laughs> I mean it's sad. It's, it's RIP sad. mom, but yeah. But I would kind of just joke about it, be like yeah, we're having a threesome with your mom. <laughs> like this Until is. he finally believes in. He's like, you're right. This is gross. Like, I can feel her. Like, I can see her spirit in the room with us, and I like it. And then you got to weird him out or yeah, her exactly. out or whoever got it on. It's like reverse psychology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like this. Can you bring more of your mom's ashes in the room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spit your mom's ashes in my mouth while we're having sex. <laughs> you're getting hot. That's going to be the front of this episode. <laughs> Spit your mom's ashes in my mouth while we're having sex. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Um, well, thank you for coming on this podcast and drinking some liquid death with us. Sponsored? Is no. It? We wish. We really like them. Uh, thank you to the the wish the other David was here, but it's pretty sick that we got you on. Uh, what? Where did they, can they find you? Uh, find me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, David Alvarezzi. And if you guys have any Super Bowl tickets, literally, I will do anything. <laughs> anything. Is this going to come out before the Super Bowl? Yeah, this comes out on Tuesday. I Give me those fucking tickets. I think we can do it. Let's really talk about this. No, I, I, we can definitely do that. All Thank right. you, guys. Uh, well, if you stay till the end, um, DM me. Uh, Super Bowl tickets. Super Bowl <laughs> tickets. Uh, thank you and love you. And kiss me if you see me in public. Bye. Oh, I just cool. realized we didn't play the intro at the beginning. You You've idiots. You have to start this all over again. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to episode 85.